What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another 90 Day Fiance video, and this one right here is all about Patrick. But before, but before we get into it, let's start off by uh, giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, every single person that is a member of Patreon, where you can find today's most recent episode of Married at First Sight, Season 15, Episode 5 Reaction. And also at the same time, let's give a big massive shout out to every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this one. And to be honest with you, a part of me says that I'm not surprised and another part of me says that I'm definitely not surprised. But hey, <laughs> let's get into it. Now as you can see, True Crime Janky decided to post these screenshots of where Thias was asked a question, what does Patrick do for work? M.M. L question mark. I don't know what MML is, but Patrick is very honest in his work. <laughs> Rewind, hold on a minute. Patrick is very honest in his work. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let's just pause that right now. How can she say that Patrick is very honest when she's the one that needed a tracking device on him because he had cheated on her at the very beginning of their relationship? And she talks about him being honest. And didn't she also ask him about his financials throughout the season and he refused to tell her? And she talks about him being honest. If you ask me, he's more shady than he is honest. But uh, let's continue. <laughs> uh, um, Anne has been working hard for years. He's, he's very dedicated. I won't lie to you. She ain't lying when she says he's dedicated. But when it comes to Patrick, when he wants something, he will do whatever it means, whatever it takes necessary to get it done. For example, huh, when he was competing, he decided to jump on the Royals because he was that dedicated to the sport he wanted to cheat. Now, bear in mind, these two things are very important factors to the video. The fact that, one, he's not honest because he already cheated on thighs anyway. And two, <laughs> when it comes to dedication, he's a bit too dedicated that he would take a shortcut. Very key things uh, to remember throughout the video, ladies and gentlemen, to why I am not surprised. Now... She continues by saying, when I met Patrick, he just had about five people who worked with him. And in those and, and in those two years, he had a big team and his team grew and I saw him grow more and more and more. She also continues by saying he worked nonstop. When he went to Brazil, he didn't stop neither. Always holding meetings, worrying about people, giving support. <laughs> Patrick, worrying about people. Okay, whatever you say, dearie. But as you can see here, there were some more screenshots that were taken all the way from Reddit, okay, by True Crime. So let's begin with the top one here, where he starts off by saying, there are some, there, no, there are class action lawsuits against his company for all sorts of unscrupulous business practices like fraud and identity theft. Remember, she said that he's honest. Remember, <laughs> she said that he's dedicated. And remember what I said. Trust when I tell you. When I say he's dedicated to getting a job done, he's dedicated any means necessary. So let's continue. The post continues by saying, let's say he goes to a house and sells the owner a security system, but he runs, but he runs the owner's credit and it's bad. Guess denied. The vivid rep would scroll through the phone book and find someone with a similar name and run their name for the credit check. Then take the line out of the out of credit. No, sorry. Then take the line off credit out in that other person's name. Remember when I said about how he was dedicated? Mm -hmm. He's definitely dedicated to getting the job done at any means and necessary. Shortcut with the roids. Shortcut by basically doing identity theft. But let's sir. Uh, Proceed. <laughs> so it continues by saying when the homeowner who bought the security system fails to pay in brackets or well, open brackets, shall I say, since they were lied to about their monthly rates, close bracket, the random person from the phone book gets hit with calls from creditors. That's just one thing his crap company has done. They fired some of the folks involved only to hire them back. Vivid is garbage. And the last person continues here by saying, oh my God, I knew it had to be something shady. He has the Tesla, Rolex, rich friends, but I can't see this guy being, I'm having a legit business. So the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, as we take all of this information in, are we surprised? 
I mean, listen, at the very beginning, I said to you guys that a part of me is not surprised, and another part of me is definitely not surprised. I'm going to tell you why. Well, based on some of the things I've already identified when it comes to Patrick, for example, unwilling to tell Tyus at the very beginning of the, uh, what, what would you try the season about, how much money he was earning, him obviously being a cheater, him also, also being another cheater in terms of, you know, do what it means to win, but also, most importantly, and this one... It's kind of sad because it has nothing to do with him, but I'm going to put it there anyway. And this is where I say I'm definitely not, definitely not surprised. And that is that TLC has a habit, a history of putting people on our TV screens who seem to have either had a criminal, rec a criminal past before or a criminal past after. Some of them is even before and after. So really and truly, am I surprised? Are you surprised? But listen. Of course, your boy had to go and do some extra research to make sure that everything that we're reading here has some sort of strength elsewhere. And trust me when I tell you, when you do actually research the company itself in particular, Vivint, you will come across so many links of how they have been going through it for a very long time when it comes to uh, court cases, shall I say. In fact, I'll go on right here for you, ladies and gentlemen. This one was back in January 2022. Okay, so obviously earlier in this year, where it talks about the company itself in particular. But let's just scroll down to the bottom, where it says, CPI security base in Charlotte, um, where the trial is taking place, is a leader of, is a leader in customer security and home automation solutions over 20, for, for more than 25 years. It is the largest privately led company, uh, uh, led security provider in the Southeast, licensed in North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, Virginia, Maryland, uh, Alabama, and Florida, okay? But as you go through all of these ones here, you will see that there's so many things that are being set up against the company itself in particular. For example here, it even says that uh, there was a claim, okay? Um, uh, CPS claimed that Vivid News has outlined in the lawsuit filed in September 2020 false and deceptive sales practices on the doorsteps and in the homes of significant numbers of CPI customers across the Southwest. Okay, and of course, as you see more and more, if you want to read it more, ladies and gentlemen, you can pause the screen and you can read it if you like. Also, alternatively, I will put the links down below in the description, but also at the same time, if you want to Google it yourself, you can also do, the, do that as well. But at the end of the day, this is more proof in the pudding that clearly this company that Patrick works for is definitely not a legit company. And obviously, Patrick Brizzy works for them and works with them and all that shebang. He is more or less likely to be a part of the scandals. And well, for someone that seems to be quite closed up about working situations, you ask me, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if the people that he went on that yacht, remember the last episode they went on the yacht party? Wouldn't surprise me if those people are in on the act as well. I mean, let's be real. They look like they probably were. But anyway, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Like, subscribe and peace.